Connect Business Central to Common Data Service. Connecting Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central to Common Data Service is a great way to lay the groundwork for sharing data with other Dynamics 365 business applications, such as Dynamics 365 Sales, or with a business app that you build yourself. This video explains the requirements for connecting to Common Data Service and will show the steps to create the connection. The steps include how to get a license for Common Data Service, how to set up a Common Data Service environment and database, and how to use an assisted setup guide to connect Business Central to Common Data Service. Okay, let's start by getting a license for Common Data Service. Common Data Service is part of the Microsoft Power Platform and is included in both the Premium and Essential subscriptions for Business Central. We can check that in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. We'll go to Active Users, choose our Admin User, and have a look under Licenses and Apps. In the Apps section, we can see that the Power Apps for Dynamics 365 license is available when we switch between the Essential and Premium licenses. Now let's go create an environment and database for Common Data Service. We'll go to our Office 365 account and open Power Apps. We'll choose Settings and then Admin Center. We'll create a new environment and give it a name. The type of environment can be production or sandbox. And yes, we do want to create a database for this environment. Our common data service environment must have a database. We'll choose Next and then specify our currency. The thing to know about the first page is that when we choose Next, Business Central tries to find common data service environments that are associated with the account we're signed in with. That makes it easy for us to choose the environment we want to connect to. Let's choose Next and see what happens. The environment we created earlier is available in the list. Choosing the environment will copy its URL to the Environment URL field. Now we'll provide the credentials for our administrator account. When we choose Sign in with administrator account, the guide will prompt us for administrator credentials. After we provide the credentials, the Business Central Integration to Common Data Service application will ask for permission to set up a few things on behalf of our administrator user. Business Central will use those permissions to install and set up the integration to Common Data Service. Business Central will deploy the base CDS integration solution to Common Data Service and install or configure a few things we'll need for the connection. For example, it will automatically create a non-interactive Business Central integration application user, assign some roles to it, such as the Solution Customizer role mentioned earlier, and create standard integration tables for us. Integration tables are an important part of the integration. Integration tables and their fields are mapped to corresponding tables in its common data service. These mappings tell the business apps what data goes where. For example, Data from the customer and vendor tables in Business Central are mapped to the accounts table in Common Data Service. OK, we'll choose Next to move on. Now we'll choose an ownership model, which can either be an individual person or a team. The ownership model determines who can work with the synchronized data. If more than one person will work with the synchronized data, we recommend that you choose the team model. If we choose the team model, the base CDS integration solution will create a business unit and a team for us in Common Data Service. If we choose the person model, like integration tables, here's where we would map or couple users in Common Data Service with salespeople in Business Central. This coupling is what gives people access to data in both business apps. Let's use the team ownership model, choose not to skip initial synchronization, and then choose next. We're just about done. Our connection is ready, and we can synchronize data for the first time. The guide will help us by providing some recommendations. To display them, we'll choose Show Synchronization Recommendations. The Common Data Service Full Sync Review page shows us the entities that will be synced, the direction of the sync, and whether a full synchronization can be done automatically or manual synchronization is required. Looks like we're good to go here, so we'll choose Finish to start the synchronization. 
Because synchronization runs in the background, we can track its progress by pressing F5 to refresh the page, or simply close the page and come back later. After we run the guide, we can go investigate the standard mappings on the Integration Table Mappings page in Business Central. We can also go to Common Data Service to verify that the data is available for our entities and fields. And that's it. We've successfully connected to Common Data Service and performed an initial synchronization. Thanks for watching.